What's up guys, it's Lee and Sam here from Ugly Sofa Gaming. Today is a very exciting day. It's the first episode of a new series of videos we're making where we, Ugly Sofa Gaming, we are going back and we're replaying the creation tutorials for Dreams. Uh, if you follow us on social media, we've been talking about wanting to get more involved in the creation aspects of Dreams, we want to eventually make our own level. Um, basically, when Dreams first came out, uh, I bashed through all the tutorials. I played them all through in a, in a single Friday uh, as soon as it came out, I think. And it was overwhelming and I got really, really confused and it was just too much. And I found it was a lot easier just to play the great stuff that people were making. And yeah, that's how all this sort of came apart. Um, you were a bit different, weren't you? What did yeah. you do? Did you... Well, I don't really do tutorials. I don't read instructions when I make things either. So it's, I just went and I tried to... doing stuff. It's to the point where you yell at me when I read the instructions when we, we have to build a table or something. Just slows things down. It's how you do it right. <laughs> Just slows things down. So anyway, I've played all the tutorials once before, but it was a long time ago and it didn't really all sink in. Sam hasn't played them at all. So what we would thought we'd do is we'd go back and we'd play them together and we'd try and get a better grasp of this and try and learn something. Um, this might be good because we're obviously, if you've been listening, we're not experts on the creation mode at all. We know nothing at all. We're starting from scratch. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, I have very little patience and I'm easily frustrated and I've got the controller. This is it. So if we can learn it and if you can help us learn it, anyone can do it and anyone can use dreams to, to make cool stuff. So golly gee, let's get started. <laughs> I hope you've got your imp under control. I've got some spectacular tricks to show you and some that are just all right. Yeah, lad. Make sure you follow the steps carefully if you want to get the most out of this tutorial. It's not just about getting to the end. It's the journey that Isn't counts. Short you see, this is it. I was focused on getting to the end. Creating and <laughs> editing your own scenes. First, I'm going to show you how to move around the scene. Cool. Here we go. So yeah, it's not rocket science. The edit mode. Oh, can't you talk can over the dude. You can see that we're in edit mode because the assembly mode icon is in the top left of the screen. If you ever need to remind yourself of the controls, select that icon with the X button. Okay. And select it again to hide the controls. You can also see the assembly menu at the top of the screen. That's where you'll find all the tools and modes you need to construct your scenes. The assembly menu is opened and closed by pressing the square button. You won't need it just yet, so go ahead and close it with square. Nope. First, I'm going to show you how to move around in edit mode, as it's a bit different from play mode. <laughs> okay, to boy. something to do, I've hidden a puppet somewhere in this scene, which we'll need in later tutorials. I've left some clues to help you find it. Yeah, the place apart. Before we search for the first clue, <laughs> let's start by looking around. In front of you, you can see a floating island with some shapes on it. If you move the right stick soon. to the left and right, you can look around the scene. Is there an orange cone around here? I see. You found it. <laughs> There's a blue yeah. cube around here somewhere too. <laughs> Oh, See it. if you can find that. Keep up, son. Now try looking up with the right stick to find the pink pyramid. Oh, wow, it's all the way up there. That's the one. Okay, let's turn back towards the shapes floating on the island. My first clue is hidden somewhere on this island. Move around the island using the left stick. Push it left and right to move sideways and up and down to move forwards and backwards. Remember, left stick to move, right stick to look around. Easy. If your imp ever feels off center, hold the options button to recenter it. Are we gonna do the sculpting ones as well? Here that they look, look really like hard. They are the masterclass ones. I've made an attempt at that. Um, yeah, clue, why not? You're ready to oh, move gosh. on to the next step. 
Although, I don't know, because when I did that, them, I think it took me about five hours <laughs> to, do, um, to do the guy's the masterclass the tutorial on sculpting faces. Use the skip I had the worst headache when it was over. Steps. Or just rewind ten seconds if you miss something. If the video gets in your way, grab and move it with your imp using R2. <sighs> you can minimize can put the video it anywhere. and play along with audio only. Or you can maximize it to watch in instructions view if you prefer. In instructions okay. view, you can see more information about the steps. Once the current step is finished, press the arrow button to move on to the next one. Yeah, it ain't record science. The first tutorial is all about learning the movement controls, which uh, watching it, it might look easy enough, but the first time you play you Dreams... It is weird. It was on the back of one of those shapes. This is rocket science, actually. Looks a bit <laughs> like a rocket. I do love a cryptic message. Why don't you look around with the right stick for any rocket-related goings-on? Ah, look over there. On that island in the distance. Those shapes look a lot like the ones in the clue. Go on, fly over there and check it out. Remember, Push up on the left stick to move forward and use the right stick to change Already direction. jumped ahead. I'm gonna just notice. Don't forget, you can recalibrate your imp by holding I didn't the know what I was supposed button. to do, so I just went over here to have a look. You're trying to be teacher's pet. He doesn't know, Sam. Sure he does. He records everything. Once you reach the island, make sure you're looking right at the cylinder and the cone. When you're ready, move on to the next step. So yeah, motion controls all the controls are ordered by motion. This is motion. The cursor and everything, and then you use the analog sticks to control the depths Think that are going in now. The, the cone was on top of the cylinder, right? <laughs> but how yes. do you use them? Well in edit mode, you interact with everything using your imp. The very tip of your imp's pointy part. See how there's oh, an enough. icon in a circle there. You can you can make that a bit, a bit that shows you better, I think. He's going to tell us how to do it. Okay. Right now, it's the Probably. arrows icon, which means the imp is using the move tool. That's the default tool in edit mode, Good. because editing a scene means moving you things around. touching there. you got to get it touching. Oh. Let's see the imp in action. First, grab the cone. Hover over Rotate it with your imp pad. and hold R2. Now your imp has the cone, use the controller's motion sensor function to move it around. Try to put it on top of the cylinder, just like in the clue. Oh, <laughs> perfect. It's not perfect. The cone backwards and forwards. Doing a bad job. <laughs> Objects in scenes can yeah. intersect and overlap. Oh, so perfect. He <laughs> just said it doesn't have to be perfect. Place, and I'll show you how to refine it later. It will show us now. Once you're done, now, you're Mister. ready for the next step. <laughs> Perfect. So it's really interesting because all of this is based on the movement controls, uh, which Mini Molecule assures us is the best way to sort of control this game. But for the full release, they are working on a non-motion control version of it. So I'm actually really keen on what that looks like because it's when you're creating stuff, especially with the dual shock, and you're moving it, you're moving in and out of depth and stuff. It gets, everything gets really confusing really quickly. Um, so yeah, I'm, I'm genuinely excited about checking out the non-motion control version. I don't know if, if it's going to make it more simple for someone like me who struggles to pat their belly and rub a circle on their head or whatever. <laughs> you're supposed to pat your head and rub a circle on your belly. This is it. It's confusing. <laughs> Now, they haven't even put the wings on properly. Good, at least from this pretty angle. good? Pretty Creating good. scenes in three-dimensional space means that you should always look at your creations from different angles. It's not wrong. The easiest way to do that is with the grab cam. <sighs> Instead of moving the objects you grab, grab oh, cam I completely forgot about the grab cam. around them. Try it out on the cone. Hover over it. Then press and hold R1. And hold R1. Pushing the left wow. and right sticks moves your point of view around the cone. That does make life simple. Easy. Focuses the camera on the object and you can zoom in and out like super quickly. Now that you can get a proper look at it, check that the cone is huh. all straight. Forgot about this actually. Mine. You could, like, yeah. 
Let go of R1 to stop using the grab cam. And use R2. Hey, to zoom make in on like a thing to give a good detail if you need to. Here's a little secret called nudge. If you don't press R2 all the way down, but just hold it lightly, you can move the cone slowly, giving you finer control. Once you're happy That's the crazy. cone is straight, you can move on to the next step. I'm less happy than I was before. Why? Because it's super warm now. Get it right. Nudge. That looks fine. Is it too big? No, it's fine. Move on. Oh. Hey, Doesn't have to be perfect, he said. Another clue. No, it does now. No, we nudged it. Oh my god. <laughs> I didn't know that. I know because <laughs> I put it there. Just play along with me. Why don't you look around with the right stick and see if you can find another molecule? Oh, don't you just gosh. tell us where it is, buddy. Over there by that island. You're hot on the trail. Oh, okay. <laughs> you've gone you've gone off your rails, Jack. <laughs> what was that? Give it a try now. Wow. Hover your imp over that orange cube in the distance. Do it. In that far distance, grab the cube. The grab cam. I already used the grab cam. Then gently push up on the left stick to zoom right over. Oh wow, that's how far out the map goes. Go, go for as far as you can. Oh no, I'll lose it. See? Oh, that is how big, that's how much space you have to create a level. But there's the thermometer, of course. Way to zip scenes. There's a bin on the back, I don't think I should have seen that. But you <laughs> also need to hold L1. You see, L1 is a very special button. You know the way Listen. that on a computer keyboard, holding L1. down shift changes what some keys do? Well, in dreams, holding down L1 changes what the other buttons do. Maybe it's best if I show you. You see that rocket you built earlier? Hover your imp over it. Now hold L1 and then press R1, the grab cam button. You don't have to hold it or use the wow. stick this time. Whoa! Fast, huh? Traveling at the speed on the return of jet. a rocket. Gosh, Hover your golly gee. The orange cube and hold L1. <laughs> then press R1 to zoom right on I over. already did it. Now that you know how to move around quickly, see if you can find the, the cube next looks tasty. somewhere on this island. Remember to use looks the like it's made of cheese. to look around the whole island. Mm. Once you've found the clue, you can move on. Well, that, the that's, clue? that's the clue. It's definitely in the clue. Okay, we can move on. Did you find the last clue? Oh, we're gonna delete stuff. Oh, we did. The, back of the orange cube. It's final. What on earth could it mean? If I don't patronize this stuff, though. Right now. Like when you actually hmm. get into actually Can't making something. Can you remember all this stuff? Can and I? Yes. No. What was your question? Will I? The trash no. <laughs> the what was your question? I'm so it was a question. It was what just, did you say? It was a statement. What was your statement? The orange cube. Just shook that I have to remember this. Remember all of this. Mm. These four things they've taught us so far yeah. in the beginner tutorial. <laughs> Whoosh. Delete. And it's gone. Wow. These tools are powerful. Delete it seems important to throw it away. If you change yeah. your mind, Do you know what I haven't played? Thing, no one has made that I've undo. seen a completely Which empty the level. Directional button. And what would you want to? I know that sounds stupid, but right do you know how, like, button. you see paintings which are just... There's nothing you on them, it's a blank redo, canvas, and everyone's like, anything, oh my god. Not just yeah. Like, maybe we could be there. Oh, that's stupid. Maybe everyone would call us genius. An arrow. No, they won't. Perhaps there's another they'll call us like lazy and they'll hate us. Ah, oh, that's what they do <laughs> now. <laughs> and see if you can spot it. That's why we're Once learning. You found it, you can move on to the next step. We're gonna look up. Oh! A toy. That was my final clue telling what you was it? L1. The L1? Right above yeah. Us. Is that the super zoom? I know that's you're an expert zoom. in moving around with the left and right stick now. But I've got one more technique to show you. 
Remember that holding L1 changes what the grab cam does. It can also change what the left stick does. Oh dear, let's go back down. Normally it moves you backwards and forwards in the direction you're facing. But if you hold L1 at the same time, the left stick will make you move up and down instead. Try getting up to the last yeah, island that way. Without a wonk? There you go. Position Oops, yourself so, so you're looking at L1 the orange and arrow, up on the left stick. Up. We'll drag you up. Now please. hold L1 and push up on the I left see. stick. We have lift off. And you let go of it and then you move horizontally on the, on the map. That makes the sense. Stick until you reach the island. When you're ready, sounds complicated, and when you first do it, and it is, it feels complicated. <laughs> but if you stick with it, it does get a little bit easier. Right, here's the puppet I reserved for you. Let's call her Connie, because she looks uh, like Connie. a phone. We need to help Connie walk through the door to complete this tutorial. But she doesn't do have that, legs. We're gonna have to switch over to play mode. So... Remember. Right now, you're in edit mode. This is where you Up create here, right? and edit your scenes. I don't think so. In play oh. mode, you can experience Up the here, scene right? just just like wait. Just listen. found it in the dream of Earth. <sighs> you can't make any changes in play mode, but you can take control of characters and oh, try geez. out what you've made. <laughs> just wait. Switch over to play mode now. Just All wait. options. <laughs> Press the options Got it, button on your controller. Hover over the controller icon with your imp, then press X to select it. The possess. I like how creepy that option the is. Possess the cone. Possess it. Possess it with R2. Try Ghost that cone. She's so sweet. Oh, Kony. She's full of beans, isn't she? I want to go to Kony. Just for you. <laughs> Walk her around a bit, then take her through the door. That makes no sense. <laughs> to anyone. Oh, Except for us. Looks like the door's too high. There's I don't remember in Watch Dogs 2. No, Watch Dogs 1. You might be able to reach it if you make her jump by pressing when X. When Adrian's... What's the name, Adrian? Oops. Yeah. I remember His niece now. was like, I want to go to Pony. I always forget to put the steps in. Well, Better we head love back that. Into edit mode. But this is a we code. <laughs> to switch back to edit... Oh god, what, what was he saying? <laughs> he was just showing how like, you would jump off and you will die if you don't have steps. Oh, uh, pro tip. Did you see those stairs on the island below us? I did. Those might come in okay. handy now, so strafe down to them with L1 and the left stick. Strafed. If you've deleted the them. stairs, you can use undo by pressing the left directional button. Going for it. Just keep pressing it until the stairs oh, come no. back. I like keep spinning until this is right. Okay. Press and oh, hold R2 like... to You're grab almost there. A little bit more. Now without letting go, that, hold that L1 that's, that's and use the Leave left it. stick to strafe back up to Connie. Nailed it. That's perfect. Good Place dad. the stairs in front of the door and let go of R2. Yes. There. That should do it. It's back to play, play mode. mode. Now, remember... Press options, Oop. then select the controller icon with X. <laughs> You'll be switching back and forth between edit and play mode a lot when you're creating your own scenes. It's a great way to test out your scenes, making sure they look and work just how you want them to. Okay, I think we can get Connie to the next lesson now. All we need to do is walk her through the door. Possess oh, Connie with wait, R2 wait. <laughs> and climb up the stairs. Once you walk through the door, you'll unlock a variety of new tutorials and masterclasses in the Dreams ah. Workshop, plus some elements to stamp into your home space. You'll also be able to browse the Dreamiverse, remix elements, or even create new ones. What are you waiting for? Get in there. All right, so that's the first tutorial. Um, you'll probably find the rest of them a little bit more mentally stimulating. This was literally <laughs> us doing the baby tutorial, learning how to move. Um, and even that was not without its faults. <laughs> um, yeah, so keep an eye on this series. We are going to be learning as we're going. As I said at the start, we're not experts at the, tutorial, the creation mode side of things. Far from it, I can't even talk. Uh, <laughs> 
Um, yeah, we're going to be learning as we go, and if nothing else, it should be fun watching us fail upwards, hopefully. On to the next. Thank you very much for watching the video, I hope you enjoyed it. We are Ugly Surfer Gaming and we upload new videos Monday to Friday from Dreams Early Access. If you like our content, please hit the subscribe button, like the video, leave a comment, share the video on your favourite corner of the internet. Any one of those things really helps us out. Thank you very much.